Hello and welcome back. This is Renee and welcome. Um, let's do a message. Let's see what your person is thinking or feeling today. We're going to pull some oracle cards. See what they're thinking or feeling. The here and now. Okay, so it is very important for you to be in this present moment. The here and now. So... And I feel like you may be manifesting something or you may be looking too much in the past or looking too much in the future. But it's very important for you to be in the present moment. Be in the present moment. Okay? Live in the now. Let go of the past and don't worry about the future. We can't see the future. And the past is no longer something that we can actually change. So we need to live in the present moment, right? Give me another message, please. I feel like that's what your person may be thinking about, too. Trying to live in the present moment. Number 32 may be very significant for you. Or the number 5, change. Big changes coming about for you. Things are going to change very quickly. Okay, yeah, we have fate and a fork in the road. I feel like you or your person could be at a, at a crossroads at the moment. Right? There's this crossroads. There's this decision that needs to be made. But whatever decision that you make, it's already faded. It's already been foretold. You know, the Holy Spirit knows all. They know all. And whatever you're deciding, whatever you're going through, it's already been faded. You know, um, the number 17 or the number 13, <laughs> the fork in the road, number 13, death card, right? You know, um, I feel like things are coming to an end. Things are... Slowly after this crossroads, this fork in the road, after this crossroads, things are going to quickly start shifting and changing. Right? At the bottom I have, and I see mending. Observer. Okay. Spirit is letting you know to be very observant at the moment. Number 49. Be very observant at the moment. And find your peace. Find your peace. Be an observer. For some reason, I'm getting a very peaceful feeling from that card. Find your peace, right? Things are going to work out just like they're supposed to. <laughs> exactly. Things are going to work out just like they're supposed to. Serendipity. Find your peace. Find your, find your happy place. Right? The number 18 may be very significant. The number 9. Wealth and abundance. Right? Also, in tarot, the number 9 is the endings. The beginning of, you know, something new. At the bottom we have Yang. Right? The number one, the magician. Work your magic. I feel like spirit is working their magic in your situation. So they want you to find your happiness, find your peace. There's no place like home. Right? There's no place like home. And I feel like your your person knows that there's no place like home. They want to come home. They want to come home within your arms, within your energy, within, you know, that they, they feel safest around you. And we have the higher power. Trust. Have faith. Okay? So, yeah, spirit wants you to just... Be at peace at the moment. Let things fall where they may. And find your peace. Find your tranquility. Um, this 
no place like home I feel like you're spending a lot more time at home or maybe you are finding projects to do opening your creativity at home more um, but you're finding your peace you're finding your peaceful place and it could be that you're kind of switching things up to find more peace within yourself because I feel like your home is your is your shell is your body so you're finding more peace within your heart as well your your heart being your home right the bottom we have to be fair so I, I feel like spirit wants you to keep an open mind wants you to keep an open mind in your situation and wants you to look at things from maybe a different perspective from a different point of view to keep an open mind on the situation and a and an open heart right keep your mind and your heart clear Fill yourself with joy and love. Right? Exactly. <laughs> and we've seen the, the yang. Now we get the yin. So we have that yin yang energy. So that can definitely be soulmates. Counterparts. Right? Oh, and we have one flying across the room. Oh, between worlds. We have between worlds. So it could be that are you or your person kind of stuck between the 5D and the 3D? Um, 5D now the 5D being the soul the soul is who you really are within right and the 3D is your persona who you have to be in this worldly space but the soul is who you really are Right. And I feel like your person is kind of fighting between who they think they need to be and who they really are. Um, and I feel like they're kind of caught between the two. They're caught between the two. Right. And because I feel like you have seen who your person really is so deep. And it's something that they may not have shown the world. You know, you may be the first person to see who they really are at soul level. And I feel like maybe a person has shown you that in bits and pieces throughout your time together or throughout your conversations. Um, they've actually shown you who they really were at a soul level and not who they want the world to see them as, right? And I feel like with a lot of the collective, your person, that mask is finally starting to drop. That mask of who they really are is starting to finally crumble to where they can't put that mask back on all the time when it comes to being around certain situations they're not able to live that double life the way that they used to so i feel like your person is kind of caught between two worlds at the moment they're caught between who they really are and who they want people to see them as so that's very very interesting very interesting right the bottom we have exchanging gifts so your person may come to you with some sort of gift some sort of offer in the near future so just be observant of that right be observant of that kind of take notice to the way your person acts 
you know what and and I, I feel like with some of you your person's not going to say this outright you are going to have to read between the lines you're going to have to ask questions in order to kind of drag it out of them right because your person isn't going to now this is just for some of you your person isn't going to make this offer evident right up front you're going to have to read between the lines you're going to have to kind of pull it out of them with questions asking the right questions so you may want to think about that at the moment right so this is just a quick message <laughs> but i hope it's useful for you and i hope you have a wonderful weekend and until the next time many blessings to you love and light